Hey friends, happy Monday. It's Melanie with Cedar Grove Farms and it's time for our Monday night French farmhouse decor live sale. So if you have not joined us before, I'm sure you always wonder what I'm doing when I look down. We have boxes up under the register and I try to move them over so I can get in closer. So if you have not joined us before, welcome. Let us know that you are new. Hey, Cheryl, so that we can say hello and that we can watch out for your questions. This is how this works. We have a numbered list of items. Tonight, I've got 31 items. I am going to tell you about the items, give you a price, show you some ways to use them. If you would like to purchase an item, say sold and the item number. Hey, Tammy. Hey, Jenny. Hey, Abby. Also, say hello so that I know that you're here. Hey, Uncle Bill. And so that Facebook will allow more people to see us. Hey, Aunt Sue, did you see all the pictures of the tulips today? They look incredible. Thank you so much for all the help planting those. Hey, Kendra. Hey, Sheila. So back to instructions. We have 31 items. If you would like to purchase an item, say you would like item number 10, say sold number 10. If you would like to purchase two of number 10, say sold number 10 times two. Hey, Sherry. Hey, Ann. Hey, Kay. Hey, Sue. And we sometimes um, have more items than we think. So go ahead and say backup sold number three. And that way, if we find more, we will contact you first. You get first dibs. Hey, Teresa. Hey, Karen. So lots of exciting new pretties tonight. Some in the sale, some in the shop. Because remember, when we get done, we are going to take a little tour around and y'all decide if you want to uh, see in the barn or if you want to see in the shop and I will show you some of the new goodies. Shortcake, the new calf, is doing fabulous. Lots of headbutting games going on and lots of calf racing, he and Jojo. So, all boys right now, three boys. No girl calves, okay. Oh, also, if you are new, we need your email address because we will send you an invoice and you will scroll down to the bottom, click pay, and that's how you will pay for your items tonight. So. Message us your email address and your shipping address if we need to calculate shipping. Okay, going to go ahead and get started. So up first is one of the brand new items. Been looking for some of these for a while. Finally found some. So this is a whitewashed, long, skinny dough bowl. It is a solid lightweight wood. It is 19 inches long, five and a quarter inches wide. Item number one, we have five of these available. It is $29. I'll get it in close so you can see. Got a little bit of distressing on it. Each one's gonna be a little bit different. So a million and one things you can do with the dough bowls. We're gonna start out with something super simple. We're going to add some of our sedum balls. This is item number two. The small four inch sedum balls are $9. Going to put one on each end. Then I'm going to add in the center our large sedum ball. This one is item number three. It is five inches and it is $13. We measured and remeasured. I would never have thought that one inch in diameter could make that big of a difference. But look, quite a bit of difference. So five inch, four inch. This is super earthy and organic. Gives you that pop of green. Super simple, all kinds of cute places you could put this. This would be perfect on the back of the toilet because it's long and skinny. Um, coffee table, bedside table, a shelf. 
This would be really cute on a dark wood shelf because this white and green would really pop. So recap on this. Item number one, the white skinny wooden dough bowl, 19 inches long, five and a quarter inches wide, five of those available, $29. Item number two is the four inch sedum ball, $9. Item number three, the five inch sedum ball, $13. Hey, Pam Miller. Oh, Pam, I'm sorry. I'm guessing that means you lost your puppy. I am so sorry. He's sending you big hugs. All right, so showed you a very simple way to use it. Hey, Beverly, going to switch up and do something a little bit softer. I am going to use some of our favorite green snowballs. Saw several of these blooming around town. So real touch green snowballs. I've already bent them to get them in here. They're nice and long. So you're getting three per stem. So this is item number four, the green snowball stem. These are $11 and we've got about 20 of these left. So all I've done is bend it about in half. Oh, I'm sorry, Pam. I, I didn't know about that. I have had grandbaby all day, so I have been off of, I have been playing outside. That's what I have been doing all day. Not a bad thing. Okay, so I would probably go ahead and cut this stem. You'll see I have a little hard time hiding it, but I can't do that yet. So we're gonna put one on each side, try to hide my stems. We want them just peeking out just a little bit, that wonderful pop of green. Then I'm going to add Item number five, this is our large green nest. It is $6.50, and we're just gonna nestle that. See if I can hide my ugly white tags. There we go. And again, simple springy pops of color. There you go. So, quick recap on this. I'd already told you about the bowl. It is the green snowball stems, item number four, $11. We have about 20 of those available. Item number five is the large green nest, and those are $6.50. Okay. Then one last way to use the dough bowl. This is our largest nest of all. Hey, Sharon. So this one, you have the pretty yellow eggs, and then you have some stems and fern and some kind of, kind of looks like a kuba leaves and some little white berries. So this is item number six, the nest with fern. It is $16, and it would be gorgeous just by itself but add one of our small chocolate bunny molds. This is item number seven. They are $10. We're gonna tuck one in on each side. Of course, you could use little birds on each side as well, but absolutely adorable. Love the way the antique silver on those chocolate bunny molds look. Okay, so recap on this one. We've got item number six, the giant nest with ferns. That is item number six, $16. This is about 14 inches across, so quite large. Then we've got our small chocolate bunny molds. 
Those are item number seven and they are $10. Okay, last thing with, and I just unt untied my shoe, so let me tie it really quick so I don't fall. We've also got some other sizes of the dough bowls that we will be pouring our candles in. We've got some round ones and square ones in the natural color and the white. So I think you're going to love those. All right, now let's do a floral arrangement. Lots of mossy and green things tonight. That seemed to be my theme. So this is one of our moss urns. So this is preserved moss on a metal frame. I'll get it in closer so that you can see. So this can be indoor or outdoor. It just needs to be kept out of the sun or it will turn brown. But water's not going to bother it, only direct sunlight. This one is 14 inches tall. It is item number eight, and it is $24. This is our medium, so we've got one that's about this big, and then a larger one that's about this big. The larger one would be gorgeous on either side of your front door. So to this, we are going to add our Real Touch Asparagus Fern. So this is absolutely phenomenal. Looks and feels so amazingly real. It really just makes anything you put it with look more realistic. So this is item number nine. The asparagus ferns are huge. They are $13. And they are going quickly. So if you want some, do not dilly-dally. I'm going to put two in this arrangement. You know, as always, we need to fluff them out just a little bit. I've already fluffed them some, so don't have to do too much. But get it nice and wide there. And I'm going to do the same with the second one. So those of you who've watched for a while, you're used to the three parts of an arrangement, which is the fill, the spill, and then the thrill. So tonight, this one's gonna have all three. So this is the fill element. I'm using the clematis leaf stem. This is item number 11, and I just saw that I skipped number 10. So this is item number 11, the clematis leaf stem. It is 1050. And I'm going to, I've already bent it so that I can stick it in. And it's going to be my spill coming out. Then I'm also using it as my thrill going up high. So get it right in the middle. It's gonna look silly at the moment, but it will Start to make sense as I add in item number 10. So item number 10 is a bunch of three blue hydrangeas. You've got the soft whites and blues in there. You can take this apart and have three. So item number 10 is the blue hydrangea bunch. These are $19 and does not take many of these to fill an arrangement, so I'm just gonna tuck one over to the side. I'm gonna get it right in the middle of my fern so that I can see the ferns all around it. You see how huge these are. I'm gonna come in over here on the other side, do the same thing. You see how it looks like we've mixed in the fern now. I'm going to bring this up Want my short pieces coming through, long pieces kind of dangling. This is very free form, but one of my absolute favorites. I think this makes everything look more realistic. Then my last hydrangea, I'm gonna reach in and stick kind of in the middle of that clematis. So it looks like the clematis is growing up and through it. 
There we go. Play with it just a bit. Get all these clematis leaves, stems kind of not wanting to behave. Takes a minute. There we go. So we're just trying to make it look like they're just all mixed in there. Okay. You know when I'm trying to do it on camera, it won't do it. All right, there we go. So imagine this on your entryway table as you come in. Just looks so springy and lifelike and it's just growing like crazy like we wish everything was right now. So quick recap on this. Item number eight is the Moss Urn. It is $24. Item number nine is the Asparagus Fern. That is $13. Item number 10 are the bunches of three hydrangeas. They are $19. And item number 11 here and here are the clematis leaf stems. Those are $10.50. Very, very springy arrangement makes everything's alive and growing. Okay, and if I miss any questions, let me know. I know that Abby's on there answering questions also. So that got us up to item number 12. So item number 12, you know I'm French country, so I love gold. So this is one of our all metal open lanterns. The wonderful thing about these is there is no glass. So indoor, outdoor, if it gets turned over, no big deal. So this one is item number 12. It is 22 inches tall. Two of these left. It is $57. You could also hang this. This would be gorgeous hanging from a shepherd's hook. So lots of things you can do with it. Tonight we're gonna style it as if it was indoors or on a covered porch. I'm going to add to it item number 13. This is our Seraphine candle ring. It is $11. We're just gonna nestle it in, get some of the tendrils poking out. And then we're going to add item number 14. These are our cream tulip magnolias. See, they've got pink down in the throat. These are real touch. They are item number 14 and they are $16. They are low stock. I did not count them. I just know that they're low. I have folded that back on itself. And then I'm just going to start layering these in here. Also, this would be beautiful for a bridal shower, wedding table, all kinds of things you could do with this. And I love the fact that you could give someone, you, know, you do a bridal shower, use this in the decor, and then give this to them to take home to use in their new home when they get married. Love being able to do that. You see how much the white just really stands out against the gold. So recap on this. Item number 12 is this 22 inch gold metal lantern. Two of these available, $57. Item 13 is the Seraphine candle ring, $11. And item 14, are the Real Touch Tulip Magnolia Bundles, $16. Then I'm gonna build a vignette with this and just realized I do have a large vignette coming. So let me pull you back a little bit. Be sure you can see everything. I was thinking I was only doing small tonight. Move a couple more things so that I've got plenty of room get everything on camera for you. 
So remember I said I kind of had a, a moss theme going tonight. So this is our largest moss bunny. He is quite a good looking guy standing up on his back feet, his cute little ears and his front feet and his little tail. So he is item number 15. He is 29 inches tall, just like the moss urn. He has a metal base and then he has preserved moss on him so he can be indoor, outdoor. He just needs to not be in direct sunlight or he will start to turn brown. So there are five of these available, item number 15, and he is $55. Then I felt like he needed just a little something so I am going to add a creamy double face satin ribbon that will match our magnolia tulips. I have to come around here to tie it. So a couple things you could do, you could simply tie it in a knot and let it hang down, or you could tie it in a bow. This just really brings it together for me and gives him an elegant look. Just needs that extra little something. So if you want one of the bows, that is item number 16, the double face satin, and that is $3. So now we have our two items, and you know we like to work in odd numbers, so we need a third item. So I'm going to add something else gold, and that is one of our fleur-de-lis crowns. So this is item 17. It is eight inches tall and eight inches in diameter. We have about three of these available, 62 dollars. Bring this in close so that you can see it. This is a very nice heavy crown. Okay, but now our scale is off. You see how we have these, not the exact same height, but close in height. We have this about 30% taller than this so we need to raise this up so it's within about 30%, you know, two thirds the height of this, okay? So we've got to raise this up to get everything balanced. So we're going to achieve that with some nice spring colored books. So we are going to add item number 18, this is a Blue Essentials of Accounting book from 1945. It is item number 18, $7. See, that's giving us a little bit of color, but we still haven't achieved our two thirds. So we're gonna add another book. This one is Songs of Praise. So this is a worship hymnal. So there's no date in it, but I know it's definitely a nice vintage one. It does have some tearing on the spine there, more character. So this is item number 19, Green Vintage Songs of Praise, $8. Brings in all of our green. Still need just a little bit more. So I'm going to add item number 20, this one is brown, very, very, I was going to say vintage, but this one's actually antique. This one's 1846. Patina is what I'm trying to say. Love how you can see all the different little sections of the book. Love all this embossing on here. And I do have it upside down, but... Napoleon's Soliloquy, so all about Napoleon, from 1846, item number 20, and it is 
simply because it is so old and such an incredible patina. So now we have our balance and you have a gorgeous vignette with all this wonderful character. So quick recap on this. I recap this already. The rabbit is item number 15. He's 29 inches tall. Five of these available, $55. Item 16 is the double face satin bow, $3. Item 17, the fleur de lis crown, eight inches tall, eight inches across. We have about three of these, $62. Item 18 on the bottom here, 1945 blue essentials of accounting, $7. Item 19, green vintage songs of praise, $8. And item 20, a brown uh, Napoleon book from 1846, $8. Okay. We also have this in gray that I showed a week or two ago. And they come in a small that I'm showing tonight and a large. All kinds of great things to do with those outdoors. And as I said, they're wonderful for weddings. And our crowns are definitely moving quickly. So if you are wanting a crown or some crowns, definitely grab them because they are very low. Okay. That got us up to item number 20. So item 21, one of my favorites. You know, I love French wire baskets of all kinds. This one is a gorgeous shape. It has a leaf in the bottom. So fabulous French wire basket. I've shown you several times all the different things you could do with this. Uh, as is, this would be great for fruit in the kitchen. You can put a planter down in here and put a live plant in here. You can also turn this upside down and use this as a riser and build something on top of it. So. When you get tired of it one way, tons of different ways you could use this. It would be gorgeous sitting on the edge of your tub filled with washcloths. Tons of ideas for these. All right, the French wire planter is our large. We're out of the small. He is item number 21. There are three of these available. It is 16 inches long, 12 inches wide, nine inches tall and $42. So item 21, the large French wire basket, three of these available, $42. I'm going to line this with item 22. This is our large faux moss mat. We have two of these left. They are $19 and they are 16 inch square. I'm simply going to tuck it in like this. Now I have all this wonderful green down in there that I can do anything with. It looks like I have moss growing in there. And again, the large moss mat is 16 inch square, $19, only two of those available. And that was item number 22. So item 23, hiding from me over here, is our new hay scented fern. Don't ask me why they named it that. I have no idea, but it is too cute. You've got the dark green and the light green, and it kind of has that really fine lacy look that I love in ferns. So the hay scented fern is $9, and it is item number 23. I'm going to start tucking those in. I would tuck them all around, but I really like to mix my florals in with it. So this is item 24. These are Annabelle hydrangeas. 
Before we've shown you the white and the pink, this is a mixture. So you see that it's white with just little tinges of pink on it. There are one, two, seven, yep, seven blooms per stem, and they are $15 per stem. So the cream and pink Annabelle hydrangeas are $15, item 24, and we've got about 16 of these stems available. So I've already spread the hay scented fern out. Now I'm going to tuck my hydrangea in here, but rather than tucking it in the center, I'm gonna tuck it kind of in the back one third and push it all the way down because I want a lot of my fern sticking out of the arrangement and I want it sticking up above. See how it's sticking up above now? This is longer, so I pushed it all the way through. The hydrangea is the longer and the fern is the shorter because I want that fern to really show up. So lots of fern, two thirds of it around front, one third in the back and stuck in very deeply. Also, I'm gonna put in just a little bit of plastic because I want to be sure that these don't sink down in. If we let them sink down in, then it looks like we need more florals than we actually do. So if you notice your florals sinking in, don't add more things. Start off with adding some plastic or paper to hold it up and see if you truly need more florals. So doing the same thing, showing about two thirds of my fern in the front, and I'm just going to work my way around the arrangement. So putting together another grouping, gonna be sure to pull it all the way down so that those ferns are taller than the hydrangea and working around in a circle. This makes everything look very uniform and you don't have odd gaps. All right. Now, I have just a hole in the center. So going to spread out my fern and fill that. Super simple. And how gorgeous is that? Matt will carry you all the way through fall. Could even then take the um, hydrangeas out and put in some sunflowers or other fall plant and keep the ferns. The container, Sandy, is our French wire basket. That is item number 21. It is $42, 16 inches long, 12 inches wide, nine inches tall. Three of those available, Sandy. All right. Now, got so much space down here, I felt like it needed one other thing. So I'm going to add our large chunky beads. These are item number 25, 60 inch mango wood beads. And these beads are two inches around. So pretty good sized beads. And they're just natural. They have, don't have any stain or paint on them. They've got the long tassels on the bottom. And they are item 25, $43, and we have 10 of these available. So what I'm going to do is stretch this around. I would take a twist tie, like you know, it comes on bread, or a little bit of jute twine keeps catching on the fern, come on. And I would cross this over like this, and I would take that twist tie and tie that right there, and then have that dangling down. See how that just finishes off the whole arrangement, really draws your eye in and lightens it up. So again, this is item number 25. It's a 60 inch long 
mango wood beads, $43. We have 10 of these available. Lots of things you can do with this too and just love how that light natural color makes everything stand out here. All right. Move all of this. Oh, no, 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 sorry. And I should have tied it so that it would stay and I didn't. So I'm just going to leave this around so that you can see how it goes with this next item. So also another new thing we got. So if you had this somewhere that you could hang something above it, how perfect would this be? So you've got this gorgeous little cathedral window that perfectly matches these beads. So the cathedral window is item 26. It is 13 inches. Okay, hold on. I measured wrong because I know this is a lot taller than seven inches. This is 17 and a half. So 17 and a half inches tall, 13 inches wide down here at the base, which is the widest part. Get it in close so that you can see it. So many cute things you could do with these, but love it as part of this arrangement. So this is item number 26. 17 and three quarters inches high, 13 inches wide, $25. So item 26, $25. Uh, yes, Sandy, everything is sold separately. So everything is sold separately. Okay. All right. If we miss any questions, let us know. How many newbies do we have on tonight? Who is on here for the first time? Let us know who you are. We'll be sure to watch out for all your questions. If you are new, we need your email address in order to send you an invoice after the show. We don't pull any items unless we have your email address. We also need your shipping address if you need shipping. Okay, that got us up through item 26. So item 27, something for your front door can also be on the wall. Love these beside the door also. So this is one of our vine baskets. This is item 27. Nice and flat on the back. It is $29. And I'm gonna try something different tonight. We'll see if you love or hate this. But since you don't really need to see the basket, I'm thinking I would stick it in here and that will hold it for me so I can decorate it. Hmm, how about that? I'll take it out when we're done. So the basket was item 27, $29. Then I'm going to add item 28. This is our fabulous rain washed bush. The rain washed bush is item 28. It is $10. Aurora the fern was item 23 and they're $9. So I have spread my rain washed bush out Gonna tuck that in. They are so nice and full. I only need two to fill my basket. Then I'm going to add in my color. So my color is item 29, these fabulous Real Touch tulips. Love the white with the pink. So these are nine tulips per bundle and they are $21.50. So item 29 is $21.50. All right, now I'm going to go back in here and start tucking my tulips in. I'm just gonna work from left to right because that's 
super easy for me. And all I'm doing is spreading the rain wash bush out just a little bit so that I can tuck my tulips down in there. Everything starts coming out of the basket, so it takes a, a minute. Really need to have it, there we go, eye level so I can see in there. So I'm just gonna keep tucking these in as we go around. I'm gonna tuck this rain washed in a little bit deeper. The rain washed again are so big, they fill up the entire arrangement with just two. Getting them all level there. Got one more over here. So we've got this big clump of green. So we're going to tuck in another tulip. There we go. And I'm going to do one more in the very back to give us just a little more height there. So as we talked about before, this is all fill. So I want some thrill up top. Tuck these wayward ones back in. So this is a brand new plant we just got in that I love. This is called the Cutting Leaf Branch. This is also Real Touch. Fabulous green, looks so real and feels so real. We have the tulips in white, light pink, dark pink, this white with pink, and yellow. So the cutting leaf branch is item number $30, $11. So we're just going to tuck one in the middle. Spread out the branches there. Gives us that thrill and height. Then we're gonna tuck another one over on the right side. See the difference that makes already? And the last one over on the left. And now our arrangement is much bigger since we have the thrill catches your attention much more so. And now, I would like to add some spill. So spill is the part that flows down. I don't have another greenery that matches this in color other than the clematis, and I've used it several times. So I wanted something else to kinda fill up this space down here. So I came up with using these pastel green decor beads. So these are item 31. We have, I think about two of these available. That's all I could find. They are $17. They are 72 inches long. I have just tied them in like a slip knot. And I'm going to reach in and the point of this is number one, to add that spill element that we want, but also to teach you how to think outside the box. The spill doesn't always have to be florals. It can be something else. We notice that big expanse of brown there and you want something to fill it. What else could you use? Florals are great, but you can also add in a little something unexpected like the decor beads. So here's a little bit of a close-up of all of this and a recap. So item 27 is the vine basket, $29. Item 28 is this rainwashed bush that's mixed all the way through. That is $10. Item 29 are the bundles of Pink and white striped real touch tulips. There are nine tulips per bundle and they are $21.50. Thank you, Tammy. 
Item 30, the tall cutting leaf branch, those are $11. Item 31, the 72 inch green pastel decor beads are $17. And I think we have two of these available. All right, ladies, anybody have any questions that we missed? If so, now is a great time to ask again so that we can be sure to get those. And now I wanna show you some new things in the shop. So think about if there is anything in particular you wanted me to show. And if you wanted to see anything on the porch or the barn. So have not even really gotten these out yet, but those are the long skinny dough balls I showed tonight. And underneath those are the incredible new pedestals. Those are just gorgeous. We are going to put candles in these so you'll be able to get some gorgeous candles. That's some wonderful new spring scents. And let's see, I'm going to kinda cruise around just a little bit and look for new things and let you see what all we have. So here are the huge columns yet again. We haven't, uh, the pedestal bases. These look fabulous with the metal cloches on it and also the glass. We haven't even gotten a chance to style those yet. That's what we will be working on. These fabulous French blue hydrangeas are super low in stock. These are really pretty. Uh, these are $5, and they are single stems. And then we just got in this new creamy yellow stem. Also, we just got in some reproduction corbels. I know we had some people asking for this size. It is hard to find these that aren't reproduction that are this size. Normally the corbels, see there's one that's an odd shape. Normally corbels are this size. That's what you're gonna find on the old houses. But I did find some of the, here's another look at that hay scented fern that I used tonight. Also, we have some incredible real touch greenery balls. This is absolutely fabulous. This is the Real Touch Eucalyptus Ball. We've also got a Real Touch Ivy Ball over here that's incredible. And these could be indoor or outdoor, and they are absolutely fabulous. Kay, you had asked about the colors of the hydra um, tulips. So this is the light pink and the dark pink. Oh, also, we got more blueberry stems. So I know there were some people who wanted blueberry stems that did not get them. They are $7 per stem. We've got probably three dozen-ish. So see how wonderful they look with, there's the cutted, uh, cutting leaf stem I showed you tonight. And uh, this is mixed in with the blueberries and the dogwood. Jacqueline, we have a lilac ball. It, uh, it looks like potted lilac but then it has the exposed root ball, if that makes sense. But um, we don't even have them out yet. They are, um, we're coming out next weekend for our lavender event. So I will um, post a picture 
of them because they are still in storage. They have not come out of storage yet. Okay. Crowns. Very low on our crowns. This is the large blue and the small blue. The gold lace edge are all sold. The small silver crown that was here, all those are gone. So I'm looking to see if there are any other crowns left. Um, all our big bunnies are definitely getting low. This is our last set of bunny bookends. We've sold every book we've put there between it. Um, one of our twine and scissor sets. Oh, cloches. We just got in a new shipment of our indoor-outdoor metal cloches. So we were really low on these. We've gotten in the white in three sizes. This is the medium and the large right here. And then there's a smaller one that's not inside. And we got green this time. It's going to be about that color green, but it looks rusty. These crowns, we have three left. The bunny bookends, let's see. They are, and I'm having to do about, those are going to be about eight to nine inches tall is what they are. They are nice and heavy, very attractive bunnies, kind of a coppery color. Hmm. Let's see. We just put out a couple more of these. We've got the ones with the straight ears, and then one has like one ear bent. This is our last twig trellis. This spreads out over your pot and makes, you know, like a um, pyramid shape, and your plants can grow up it. That is $24, last one of those. Let's see, what else was new that I wanted to show you? Some of the truck, uh, some of the stuff is still in the trailer, has not made it even into the shop. Okay, this is the yellow tulips there. Oh, we just got this new Mary in. She's my favorite. I absolutely adore her. All the wonderful pastel colors and her crown is removable. And I love that they've kind of notched it. So once you put the crown on, it stays. Love her. The other new thing that we've got over here is this gold bee dish. Love it. Back up so you can see it. It just really pops with everything. It would be adorable. Uh, to put your change or keys in, to put soap in in the bathroom. It is cast iron. We have, that's $20, cast iron. Okay, Cheryl, let me go look at the scissor thing for you. I was checking while I was over here to see if there was anything new over here. I don't think so. I think the majority... Can I show what is hanging on your checkout counter? I think it has pink roses on it. Oh, yes, I can. That is uh, a fisherman's basket. So you've got the fisherman's basket with the asparagus fern I showed tonight and our pink rose bundles. So those are straight up pink. Before I have shown the white ones, and these are kind of cream with pink. These are pink, pink. Okay, Cheryl, I am going to look at the scissors. I have to go slow so that I don't make everybody dizzy as I'm going. And see, this is an old corbel. We just have one of those, but so many 
wonderful things you can do with those and decorating. Our last magnolia wreath. Tammy, we are on a 40 acre farm on the opposite side of 65 as Hartsell, Alabama. We're about six minutes off of 65. So the twine and scissors is $29.50, $29.50. So this is fabulous, especially if you have a she shed or garden shed, but wonderful to take with you out to the garden to tie up your roses or anything else and to cut your flowers and bring those back in. Okay, anything anyone else wanted to see, I can do a quick peek in the barn. I was thinking I might take you out on the porch, but, oh yes, the round top church, I love. I have not turned the lights on out there, so it won't do me any good. Or is everybody content in here? Let me know. Here is the round top church right there. Super cute. Our uh, red, white, and blue Americana round tops should be here in April, hopefully early April. Don't know if I've showed you this, uh, more round top items. The basket, I know I have shown you, but anyone new who might have seen it. So this is the round top basket can be hung either from the handle or there's a hanger back down there that you can't see. Has the special thing to hold round tops. And then you can put flowers or greenery in there. This is a really cute one with the uh, hydrangeas that are potted and the little garden claw, fork, can't think of the name. But then, these are new, another round top holder. So this is metal, and you have your two holders that stick up there to hold this horizontally. Let's see, how much is this before I hang it back up there? We also have this vertical. It is $17.50. I think the vertical is a little bit more like maybe 20 but love that you can put two round tops on there. Okay, I'm gonna go to the barn really quick because I can't do the porch because I didn't turn the lights on. So I will be walking in the dark with you for quite a while before I got to the light. So I'll take you around the back way Blue beads hanging across dresser-like thing. Okay, before I go out, let me come back to that. Um, these right here, Jacqueline, these are, well, my light's messing up, but it's marbled blue and white. These are 72 inches long. They are $25, not those. Okay, must be the blue and green ones down here. Both of those are low stock. See, there's another way to use the decor beads. These right here. So these, you've got the dark blue, and in this light, the light blue just looks light blue, but it's, see there, it looks slightly greenish. Okay. So these are also 72 inches and $25. Okay, let me know, that should be it. Oh, <laughs> we have too many mercury glass items. Okay, so these, blue, green, gold, right here. Those are the ones hanging closer to the floor. There you go. So blue, green, gold, also uh, 25. These are on ribbon. 
whereas the others are on jute. But there you go. Yeah, there you go. That's the ones. So get you in close. Blue, green, gold. All right, so I'm gonna quick walk to the barn. Oh, also we got these gorgeous new oval metal planters. They are huge and they're rusty and they have feet on them. You guys are going to love those. They will be out for our lavender event. Put some lights on in here. And in the barn. Okay. So let me know what you wanted to see in here. And I will head that way. Our last little round top chick. Got this great new black shutter. New as in newly put out. It's an old one. And more of the asparagus fern. These adorable nest um, pictures, shelf sitters, however you want to be. Those are super cute. I love this new hydrangea and those really light stems. That is a mixture of eucalyptus and lamb's ears. And our little green ceramic bird. Uh, really low on our mushrooms. We have I think three larges and two smalls left. They are real preserved moss. And I know someone asked me about the lilac balls. So yes, we can. This is not a lilac ball. This is potted lavender but it looks about like this, but the bottom is a round black ball that looks like a root ball that you've just dug up. Those are the lilac ones, but I will post a picture. Beachy round tops, yes. Okay, so here is the vertical round top holder I was telling you about. I showed you the horizontal one in the shop. So that is one of the beachy ones with a sand dollar. Then, the other beachy one is over here. It is pink and white striped background and has a shell. Hey, Kathy. I saw you at Kroger today. I waved at you and you waved back, but I don't know if you knew it was me. Sorry, lots of uh, shadows on that. Let's see if I can pick it up. Get it worse, not shadowy. There you go. That is the pink one. I know when y'all see me out of my natural habitat, <laughs> I don't get out very often. But since the grandbaby was here today, I had to go to the grocery store and get milk and snacks and such. She would be here. She told her mother that Mimi didn't have milk. Mimi's lactose intolerant, so she's right. There's usually not milk, so I went and got her some. Didn't want to be called out for not having milk. Got these, um, they look like concrete. They're not bunnies back in. They are fabulous, some of our best sellers. Also, this is one of our newest birds. He's green 
and gold and white. Super cute. All right, ladies, anything else you wanted to see? We are super low on these gorgeous pink hydrangeas. Yes, there is a purple candle ring. These are five. We've got, that's right, Lila, whatever it takes. Um, the pinks that you see here and probably eight on the front porch, and then those are going to be gone. The bunny, let's see, I got one here I can access. He is 52. 52, and he's probably about, about 12 inches tall. He is 52. Hey, Linda. Um, purple candle ring. Here you go. There is the purple candle ring. And the purple candle ring is $15. And it is, that is one candle ring. It is super, super thick. And I know we don't have a lot of those left because that's all potted lavender. One, two, three, four, five, six. I see six of those, Pam, seven. I see seven of those candle rings. And so our lavender event, weekend after next, we have these fabulous bath bombs that we got from a lavender farm. We've got lavender soap, lavender lotion, uh, bath salts, lavender tea that we'll be sampling lavender um, hand soap. Oh, and of course, lavender. Fabulous lavender dried bundles that smell so wonderful. The bath bombs smell incredible too. We have been all oohing and on over those. Mossed flower containers. Um, I think you mean these? right here. So we have the square that comes in three sizes. That's the small and the medium. Uh, well, must be four sizes because there's that one also. So let's see if I can. This one is six and a half inch square and six and a half inches tall has the little liner and it is twelve dollars then the smaller ones this one is four and a half inch square four and a half inch tall five dollars the fern i used in the wired basket yes that was the hay scented fern that was nine dollars Aurora. Uh, this one is five and a half inches tall, five and a half inches square, eight dollars. And then this is the big daddy. This one is eight inches tall, eight inches square, sixteen dollars. I'm going to put out any of the lavender and lilacs before the event. Um, only what we have on this table. All the other stuff we won't have out until the event. We have like some of the lavender lotions out, but the new stuff we just got in hasn't out. Think on those, or maybe it was a round basket. Okay, there's also these round ones right here. The round ones are 14 and... 12 and then other than that it's the urns like i had in the show tonight if i can peek behind whoops it's holding it well let's look at these over here 
can get to these better. The urns back in there that are moss, that's the size small. Tonight I showed the medium, that's the small. And these adorable little blue terracotta bunny soldiers all lined up. And our incredible cabbage roses, real touch. All right, ladies, if you have any other questions, let me know. Otherwise, um, I'm going to sign off. Remember that if you ask questions after the uh, we've signed off, we will be monitoring those tomorrow and answering all of your questions. If you are watching us late, just go ahead and uh, comment sold on anything you want. You can still shop the sale. This bunny right here, he is, oh, come on, $65 on his bottom. He is quite gorgeous. We had three different styles of this bunny. The Cabbage Roses, we have this light pink. Here is a bundle. You've got one, two, three, four open and two buds, so six. And they are, we had some that we found that were, that is $20. There we go, $20. And that is the light pink. Then we have the blush pink. So almost cream. This is the same color as ours are in the garden. They look just like those. So $20 per bundle. So we will be answering your questions even after um, the live is over. You can still purchase. Be sure if you are a new buyer, that you have sent us your email address because we do not pull your order until we have your email address and you don't want us to skip over you and someone else get your items. Also, we need your shipping address if you need us to calculate shipping. And if you are someone who sometimes needs shipping and sometimes doesn't, let us know if we need to ship you so that we can get you packed up and get your pretties to you sooner. All right, ladies, March Madness will resume tomorrow because since I had the grandbaby today, my brain was mush and I didn't remember to do March Madness. So there will be March Madness at noon tomorrow where we'll hop on and have a few items on sale. They'll be 25% off for 24 hours. So don't miss that when you see us go live tomorrow at noon. Thanks for joining in. You know, we'll be open our normal hours 10 to 5, Thursday and Friday this week. Then next weekend will be our lavender event. So 10 to 5, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So we'll see you in the shop soon.